Good day everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Bluetooth on or switch missing from your settings of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Or even if your Bluetooth is not showing in the device manager, then follow the simple solution that I'm going to share in this video. Now before that, let me show you that when I go to my Bluetooth settings, I don't see the Bluetooth on off option over here, the Bluetooth switch through which I can enable or disable the Bluetooth. And probably when you go to the device manager, you don't see the Bluetooth option over here. All right, so what are my recommendation? What are my troubleshooting steps? I will be starting with a troubleshooting with a troubleshoot feature of Windows. So for that, you need to click on your Windows search, type troubleshoot, and then from the suggestion, you have to click on troubleshoot settings. Troubleshoot page will be up. Now here you have to click on other troubleshooters. And then you need to look for Bluetooth and then click on run. Now this will start detecting the problem and let us know that where the problem is. So either it will automatically fix the problem or it will give some kind of recommendation. Now you can see I am getting a recommendation and it says enable device turn on generic Bluetooth adapter. So it says that the Bluetooth adapter has been disabled. So I will click on apply this fix. And now it's enabling the device and resolving the problem. So probably my problem will be fixed from here. And you can see that it says fixed. So I will click on close. And now if I close the setting box and reopen the Bluetooth settings. So you will see that my Bluetooth switch option is back now. All right. So you can try this solution. Now in case if this doesn't work. Next what you will have to do. You need to close it. Now click on your Windows search type services and from the suggestion you have to click on services app now here we have to make sure that all the services related to bluetooth are running so you can click anywhere then click on the b key so you will come to the b section and now here look for all the bluetooth services so the first one is bluetooth audio gateway service double click on it and make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the service status is running and if it's not running then you have to select automatic and start the service similarly look for the other bluetooth service do the same assure that it's set to automatic and the status is running there is another third service we have to do the same here so you can see it's been stopped so in the startup type choose the automatic option and then click on start all right, then you have to click on apply and in case it says the parameter is incorrect, then you can close it and close the services box. All right, next we have to go to the device manager. So right click on the windows icon, then go to device manager. Now here, many people have the problem that they don't see the Bluetooth adapter over here. So what you can do first, you have to click on view, then click on show hidden devices. Because many times the Bluetooth or many other adapter get hidden by default and you can bring those options back by choosing this option. If this works, then it's good. And if not, then click anywhere, then click on action, choose a scan for hardware changes. Check back again and still if it doesn't fix, then you have to click on action, then click on add legacy hardware, click on next, choose the second option, install the hardware that I manually select, click next. Now here you have to look for network adapter. So keep scrolling down until you find network adapter. Once you get it, double click on it. And now you will see the manufacturer on the left hand side and the model on the right hand side. So here you have to first click on Broadcom or whichever you see on the top. Then on the right hand side, you have to scroll down and look for any model related to Bluetooth. So if you get any Bluetooth model over here, then you have to click on it. Then you need to click on next and install that Bluetooth driver. In case if you don't get in the Broadcom section or on the first option, then from the manufacturer list, you can click on the second option like Intel. And again, look here for the Bluetooth adapter. Once you get it, click on it next and install it. So even if you don't get in the first two options, then you can scroll down and look in the other manufacturer option. All right, so try to find out the Bluetooth adapter from here and then click on next and install it. All right, so once you are done, again, you need to come to the action 
and click on scan for hardware changes and hopefully you will now get the bluetooth option back so once you get the bluetooth option you have to make a right click on all the drivers and choose update driver then click search automatically for drivers and then if the update are available kindly go ahead and update it next you also need to make sure that the driver is not being disabled so right click on it and make sure that it's not disabled if disabled you have to click on enable device and look for the other driver as well all right so once you are all done with all these settings finally go ahead and restart your pc and laptop and check back i'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed now in case if all these solution doesn't work for you then finally you will have to manually install the bluetooth driver for that you can bring up any of your favorite browser then you need to go to google and search here for bluetooth driver you can add for windows 10 or 11 whichever you are using then you will be getting intel bluetooth uh, driver here click on the intel website now depending here you are using 32 bit or 64 bit you can download the driver from here you can find this by clicking on a windows search type system and you will be getting system information and here in the system type you will find your operating system bits so if it's x64 it means it's 64 bit and if it says x86 then it means you are using a 32 bit of operating system so my is 64 so i will close it and download the 64 bit bluetooth driver from here and once downloaded you just need to go ahead and install and run it and once completely installed again restart your pc and laptop and check back i'm very sure your bluetooth option will be back so that's all guys hopefully this all complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye